All right, Josh, Asher, Talia, all from Legacy Farms Northwest. Here's our uh, paddock situation. So we got some hog panels. We got various sizes, um, 16 footer down here on the ground. Uh, these are like eight footers right here. We cut, cut a couple, so that one's eight foot right there. And then these are the coolest things ever. So what Asher's holding in his hand is basically just the corkscrew and it's just a um, you know thick steel gauged piece of metal galvanized that binds these together so right here you got two hog panels um, making a temporary paddock so Asher show them what you got so put that in first so flip it over oh. yep see that that ends kind of like notched at the end if, yeah I'll show it to you here in a minute so start it yep just like that and then start going through and don't stab my hand. <laughs> nice. So it just goes all the way down. Here, let me move my hand. Ugh. All right, let's keep going. Oh, you missed one, so back it up. So you want to get both of those in there at the same time. So back it up more. Yep, there you go. Yeah, if, the, if it comes apart, you want to make sure that fence is together. Because if you slip one, then it gets really tight and almost impossible to get back. One. That's okay. We just need to shift this over a little bit. Yeah. There you go. See, it should be. So you know you're doing it right if it's super easy to get on. If you start having a hard time and you feel like you're fighting it, back it off because you're doing something wrong. So, yep. Keep going. You're good. It'll it'll kind of pinch it together once you get down there. So we got these from uh, Premier One. Yep. Bring your foot in. Premier One fencing, and they're so worth it. I think they're only, I don't know, two or three bucks, maybe four bucks per per thing. Um, I don't even know what they're called, but if you look at their fencing material, that's the top. So you can see that one's kind of like a crooked, a crooked in there. And that just kind of helps it like lock in place once you're done at the bottom. Good job, man. So now he's got it all the way down to the bottom. So this is just super easy, super fast way to deploy like a temporary paddock, you know, and we can, if we wanted to, we can move this around. Um, we may be staking this in with some, uh, like T posts. So get some T posts and, and kind of just stake it in so that the pigs, once the pigs get bigger, if you don't stake them down with something, they can actually root and lift this up, especially at these joints and they can get up and underneath it. So we've actually, we actually had one of these way out in the back of the woods. Um, uh, sorry about all my stuff there, but but out there is like uh, our timber and we had the pigs um, Before we had the cooney coonies. We actually had pigs that were uh, out there kind of Brush hogging for us. So they were they were kind of clearing areas like this like what we got back here And so we used the hogs to do that and we used this to keep them in However, they figured out that they could get enough leverage to pop these up and get underneath them and that's pretty uh you think about it pretty incredible because these hog panels are not light so they got a lot of force in their in their snouts and then their jaws um so yeah they're they can definitely do it but these are my helpers farming it up boom yep yep